1160 and a chance for us to talk one more time on behalf of Family Promise with Aaron Lehman. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. And Aaron Lehman is indeed on the line with us this morning. Aaron, good morning. Hey, how are you, Todd? Wonderful, wonderful. Good to have you with us here today. But you're 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 not going to be the president of this organization much longer, are you? Yeah, well, yeah, my uh, term actually, my three-year term ends in uh, the end of the year. So now um, I wanted to get on the radio and talk a little bit about, you know, what we've done, thank some people, thanks, and, um, you know, pretty much just, uh, you know, end, uh, you know, end it with a little bit of, you know, Put a bow on for it. me. Put so, a, yeah. Put a bow on it here for us this morning. Exactly. Yes. Well, fam- yes. Family Promise of Indiana County, every time we have you on talking about what Family uh, Promise is and what Family Promise uh, does, uh, it, it amazes me because uh, of the way that the organization started and the way that it has grown. You've been an integral part of that. How long has this been going on, and how long have you been with them? So this is our 10th year anniversary. So back in July of 2011 is when we started. And we had our first family come in on December 21st of 2012. Um, it was started, it, Family Promise was started because uh, a group of people found out that there are families that were living in their house, in their cars. They were, um, they had in, newborn babies, they had toddlers, and people just did not want that to be, you know, a problem anymore. So they started Family Promise, and, uh, you know, we've been, for 10 years, we've been, uh, Hosting in ten years, we hosted seventy-seven of seventy-seven adults and a hundred and three children. Wow! So you know we've had a lot of people go through the program, um, and we've had a lot of success. I mean, we have an eighty-four percent success rate of people that are in the program that graduate, and we also have three people go from homeless to a homeowner, and one did it in three years. So we have a, a proven track record that shows. We're doing what we, you know, we're, we're succeeding where maybe, you know, other people have had other organizations help them, but with our organization, they succeeded. And the amazing thing about it is it is a combination, maybe, I don't know if you call it a network or not, uh, of uh, church congregations that have come together to make this happen. And I know COVID has affected that greatly in the past year, but, uh, uh, talk about that, if you would, how all of these churches were, well, the whole recruiting process uh, for them to all become involved. Well, I mean, the thing about the churches is there are two kinds. There's a host congregation and a support congregation. The host congregation hosts the families in their church. It's a very um, inexpensive, um, what do you want to say? Uh, I can't think of the word right now. I'm sorry. But, but mission. It's a very inexpensive mission because mm-hmm. all you have to do is host the family, make dinner for them, and have fellowship with them. Then there's also a support congregation that supports the host church. So people in the support congregation can make food, have fellowship with the people in the program. The cool thing about that is the fact that, you know, let me go back here. So when people are in generational poverty mainly, they – the two ways of getting out of it is one is having a positive role model and the other way is learning how to get out of, out of poverty. The two things that we do is one, we teach people how to get out of poverty, but we also match them up with churches and the host congregations and the support congregations can have fellowship and can talk to families that homelessness and poverty is not a lifestyle and there are positive role models that the families can talk to. So that's how the churches also help, and the congregations help, too. Um, churches, you know, if you're interested in being a church, you know, or a support congregation, you can just, you know, call uh, Family Promise. Carol can get you, um, you know, involved. John Ditter right now is on our board. He is a pastor at the uh, Christian Missionary Alliance Church in Homer City. He, you know, is learned, he knows a lot about Family Promise. He's going to be are uh, reaching out for churches. So, you know, I mean, the biggest thing is we want to get the community together to end homelessness in our lifetime and using churches, using volunteers, using all the people that are helping out helps out tremendously. So that's kind of how that works. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just to see the work and to see the way that everybody has come together to make this happen uh, is, is very exciting. 
Uh, it, it really is to see people putting putting their faith to work and, and doing so right here in Indiana County where there is so much need. So you uh, mentioned a couple of moments ago that, that there are some, some wonderful folks to thank uh, for uh, all of their work that you have been able to put in with them down through the years. Who are some of those you want to make mention of? Well, first of all, I, Todd, I'd like to uh, thank you guys for end up broadcasting because every time I've ever emailed you and said, hey, can I get on the radio? You're like, sure. So that's great because this is one of the ways that we can get Feeling Promise out there. I also wanted to thank Deborah Bond. She um, <clears throat> is a news reporter at uh, the um, Blairsville Dispatch, and she did a phenomenal article on us. That was in the paper the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and it was on the front page. So the thing that was amazing about that is she brought a lot of the um, facts and figures into it. Mm -hmm. So I really want to thank her because we have a lot of people that know about Family Promise because of that. Yeah, well, Aaron, also, Aaron, let me let me interrupt for just a moment. Your phone is breaking up, so we missed her name. Oh. Hold on a second. Okay, is this better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, sorry. Um, so, um, yeah, so... Uh, Deborah Braun, she did such a good job with this article and brought notoriety to Family Promise. I also wanted to thank the board. Um, I, I've, I've been blessed with a phenomenal board the last three years, and the past 10 years, there are so many amazing people that you know found time to come out and help out and really you know bring Family Promise to where it is right now. And in 10 years, there have been so many amazing board members that have gone you know either past or present. And um, it's been phenomenal. Um, the volunteers that help out are amazing because I know they help out Carol and they help out the churches. And it's just amazing how there's so many people that want to give up their time to help out yeah. Family Promise. The churches, of course, because they're just great, you know, hosting the families, helping us out monetarily and everything else like that. Mm -hmm. Carol Reed, who's our executive director, she has... Like she's holding, she's the glue that holds it together. So she's done a phenomenal job with it. She's done it with the families, and I mean, it's just it's amazing to have her. And um, you know, the last thing is the people that have donated to us over the years um, still keep those donations going. Um, most of the donations, except for an affiliate fee, stays in Indiana County. So you're actually putting your donations in the Indiana County you're not going to any of your other counties or states or whatever, you know, except that. So, yeah. 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 Um, well, the, the amazing thing again about your organization is the number of different entities and, and individuals who have come together to make it work. And the important thing to recognize now is the fact that uh, the work goes on, the need is still there. And uh, even though uh, your term has ended, uh, there there are some great people still working hard, and, and others can join them, yes? Yes. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be on the board, I mean, we're always looking for board members. Um, if you want to volunteer, you can call 724-464-5220. That is the uh, day center number. And um, talk to Carol. You know, you can always use volunteers. We also need some – so we have a Beyond Shelter. We have – uh, a store that people can buy shampoo, soap, stuff that food stamps can't mm -hmm. pay for. But we also have furniture. And one of the things we need is we need people to ha that might have trucks, might have some muscle to be able to help us with uh, when families need furniture, they might be able to deliver it for us. That's a big need that we need. So if there's somebody that has a truck, has some time, and would be interested in helping out, they can help out that way. Yeah. And uh, obviously you uh, gave some contact information uh, before I want to highlight uh, the uh, the website familypromiseofindianacounty.com and probably note that you've got a Facebook page as well, correct? Yes, yeah, we have okay. Family Promise of Indiana County Facebook, work on Instagram. Yeah, and I tell you what, the website is really really well done. Yeah, yeah, we had some really good people do some amazing things on the website and I mean it it's it's got, grown leaps and bounds. So yeah. I mean it's been you know, it's, it, it's been pretty amazing. I mean, I'm just, like, looking back on it, the five years that I was in Family Promise and the three years that I was president, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, it makes me happy that, you know, especially in these times when, like, there's a lot of everything going on, there's an organization that's actually, you know, making it so people have hope again, and they bring dignity back to their lives. And, I mean, that's what Family Promise does. So it's it's just great having an organization that is, you know, helping out 
so much, and so many people are coming together to help out with it. Aaron, we talk often about how in ministry, um, the blessings that you give come back to you more than tenfold, and I'm sure they have to you as well during your time with Family Promise. So think back to when you began and to who you are now and uh, how these experiences have helped you to grow. Wow. Well, um, I, I have a... I have a new appreciation of how hard it is for families to break the cycle of poverty and how much work they put into it. I mean, they're just every day learning stuff. They're, you know, having you change their lifestyle. They're having you change. Like, so for example, a family, you know, may not be happy that they're succeeding. The family may not be just, you know, may be trying to bring them down. So they may have to get away from their family so they can succeed. So there's so many things, and the people that come into the program and do what they are supposed to do and everything else are just amazing people because they just do it and they succeed. And so I've seen that, and I've seen how hard people can work when they really want something. I also like the fact that, you know, we don't give anybody anything. They have to earn it. And uh, that's one of the things that I've realized in, in my own life that, you know, hey, nobody's going to give me anything. I have to earn it, just like people in our program and, you know, everything else. So that's really helped me. And also just like seeing, you know, a lot of times we look at like all the different things that are going on, the negativity. And whenever I see the negativity on Facebook or I see it on the news or whatever, I can always think back to Family Promise and what we do. And it puts a smile on my face. Yeah. So, you know, that's one of the biggest things is I'm seeing a positive nonprofit that is doing some great things. And when I think about that, it makes me feel better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, we might not have as much contact with you in the future on behalf of Family Promise, but we do know this, that uh, as long as I'm here anyway, and who knows what tomorrow brings for anybody, but as long as I'm here, Family Promise always has an avenue through Indiana in the morning. Thanks for being with us again today. No problem. And uh, you might be hearing from Anna Frank, who's going to be the new president. We will do. Oh, Anna's a nice lady, so it'll be nice to Anna's wonderful. Too. She is. She is. All right, Aaron, thanks so much. All right, thanks. All right, thanks.